Warriors! Holy crap. Is your crypto portfolio going to absolutely collapse? My name is Coach JB. I am the top health and mindset coach in the world. What you believe in your heart, you think in your mind, will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes an unconscious activity. Now, I'm the coach who says, don't believe a word I say. Now, let me ask you a quick question. Do you ever hear me saying like, subscribe, comment? I'm not looking for friends. I'm not looking for followers. I'm not looking for likes. I'm not even looking for comments. My mission on this earth is to help as many people as possible break free from a just over broke system. That's what I'm here to do. Uh, that's what I'm here to do. It is a mission versus a business. Kev and I want to eradicate poverty and bring peace and prosperity by 2050. Why not? Why not? So that's what we're here to do, Warriors. So I'm here to teach you the game so you can't be played. So today I'm going to take you through the Elon Musk narrative, and then I'm going to take you through quantitative easing, and I'm going to teach you the game. Now, next week, Warriors, my research team, we are going deep into Basel 3. We're not going to just give you the crypto information. We're going to show you deep in the banking system what's happening. We're going to have a, a couple people on the screen. And my research team is going very deep. What we do is we spend about eight to nine hours in research. We don't claim to know everything. But what we do is we go deep down the rabbit hole to find different sides of the story so we can make informed decisions as investors, warriors. So that's my main goal here is to give you information so you can make informed decisions, right? I'm not trying to get you to believe what I say. What I'm trying to do is well, I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just opening up your mind to get you to critically think. So I'm going to take you through a narrative. And a lot of people ask how to join the Warrior Academy, crypto, uh, access to my portfolio, exit strategy. You work out live with us daily. It's a community of warriors rising together. I'll talk about the end, but description down below because most warriors don't make it all the way to the end of the video. So let's go right into this warrior. So I'm going to take you through a narrative of all the news and hype and weak investors, right? And then I'm going to take you through what's actually happening within our economy. Okay. So I need you to bear with me through the whole video. It's time to write notes. If you have a pen and paper or you're driving, just listen intently and understand the game warriors because most investors right now are getting wrecked. It's called being emotionally attached to something. You have to detach yourself from the emotion, pull yourself up to a 30,000 foot overview and ask yourself, what is actually happening? So let's go through some news with Elon Musk. And he's a very, the wealthiest person in the world. Literally, he has so much power that his tweets can move the whole marketplace. So knowing that, Warriors, that's why 1% of the population owns 97% of the wealth. He can literally tweet something and manipulate the market. But you fall for it. You fall for this, Warriors. You buy the news and you sell the rumors. Rich people sell the news and buy the rumors. So let's walk through the narrative and let's talk about what's actually happening within the marketplace, okay? So Dogecoin tumbles after SNL Musk, Musk calls it um, a hustle on SNL show. So what was happening, what I did last Saturday, as I was sitting there watching TikTok and I was watching SNL. I usually don't watch TV, but this was important in the crypto space. And I wanted to prove and show to my warriors what happens. So I sold some of my bags around Thursday, Friday because I sold the, new, sold the news and I bought the rumors. I bought Dogecoin during the rumors. And when the news starts to hit, we sell the news. We don't buy the news words. So consider SNL the news. So here comes Elon Musk on SNL Saturday and a bunch of people are buying Doge thinking it's going to pump when he hits SNL, but it does the opposite warriors. When he goes on there, all the weak investors, they start buying, 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 buying. And then it dumped about 27% overnight because of the SNL, right? So what's happening warriors, this is very important to understand. Listen to these, look at these tweets and let's really talk about what's happening in the economy because this is steering you away to look over this way and to get him confused, right? To get you emotional, to make the people think that the cryptocurrency space is this unregulated, confusing, um, clown freaking circus space, right? And it can be wars because of this type of stuff. But this is the biggest shift in generational wealth. And that's why they're keeping you looking this way, warriors. All these people that are doing this to you are packing their bags. We are moving from the internet to web two to web three. We're moving from computing to connectivity wars. This is already happening. And so they're trying to shake all the people out 
so that they're not the new internet people who invest in the internet, who are the richest people in the world words. We're heading from Capricorn or we're already from Capricorn to Aquarius energy. There's all kinds of angles that you could look at, whether you're spiritual, whether you're, you know, cosmos, whether you're a financial person. And I'm kind of a mix of all of them. So look at this. Elon Musk top tweets. Um, let's, let's move the screen a little bit bigger for you guys. So Elon Musk top tweets on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. So Musk tweets on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have greatly impacted the digital currency market. Former U.S. President Donald Trump technology entrepreneur Elon Musk were on the same line when it comes to putting out random tweets. Of course, this was before Trump got banned from Twitter. Now, Elon Musk is at top of the list for tweeting quirky, funny stuff, but can't deny the fact that his tweets are very big impact on society. If you are making your financial decisions off of Elon Musk tweets, you are a weak investor. I'm calling you out. You are a weak investor if you make your financial decisions for your family's future and generational wealth based on someone's tweets. You need to strategically look at the tweets, listen to the rumors, and understand what's happening at the 30,000-foot overview. What is he saying? Read into the lines. What is he saying about the future wars? So let's read some of these tweets of the financial decisions you guys made. So Bitcoin, we are concerned about rapidly increasing uh, use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transactions, especially coal, which has the worst emissions of any fuel. Cryptocurrency is a good idea on many levels, and we believe it is a promising for the future. But this cannot come at great cost to the environment. Tesla now will not be selling any Bitcoin. We intend to use it for transactions as soon as the mining transactions to more sustainability in energy. We are also looking for other cryptocurrencies to use. So the marketplace is like, ah, oh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin sells off, right? The weak investors jump out. I got so many calls when this tweet came out. And I'm like, do what feels good to your gut. So if I haven't taught you enough to have emotional intelligence and buy the dips, then I don't know what to tell you, words. If you want to jump out, you need to jump out, right? So let's go to some other tweets here. Next, right after that, he puts, do you want Tesla to accept Dogecoin? 78% of people said yes. This is fantasy economics, words. But hell yeah, I got some Dogecoin and I also sold And when I doubled my profits and bought into uh, fundamental cryptocurrencies, right? Dogecoin will have utility when it hits the Flare Network, words. But for now, I'm using the profits and I'm always going to keep a moon bag. A moon bag is keeping something in there just in case it takes off. So here's another one. Uh, this is um, Dave uh, Pontenay. So, so I'm on the understanding uh, correctly, Elon Musk buys Bitcoin, then pumps it. It goes up. Then he dumps it and makes a fortune. Listen, I own one Bitcoin, but Bitcoin is exactly who we thought it was. Just don't be the one holding the bag. So they're confusing the living crap out of people. If, if there is even a scandal about me, please call it Elon Gate. Okay. The dog father, SNL May 8th. You're making your financial decisions off of this, Warriors. That is not a good way to do your fundamental investing. What we do at the Warrior Academy is I teach fundamental investing. I have a broad portfolio of fundamental cryptocurrencies that I show the Warriors in the Academy. I show them exactly what I'm doing and not financial advice, but they're all fundamental cryptocurrencies. I have a small percentage of my portfolio for that's for shit coins. Literally, if I lose the money tomorrow, I'm good. And when I double my profits, I immediately close out of it. Just like if I went to a casino and put $1,000 down, if I won 2000 because it's called gambling, I take the 1000 that I won, I put it in my pocket. It's called discipline words. That's what we teach. Okay, so now here's all the FUD and craziness and shit that confuses you. Now let's talk about what's really happening in our economy. First, I'm going to show you this video on quantitative easing so you understand quantitative easing. This is going to take a little bit. We're going to watch the first part of this, okay? And then I'm going to take you through some reasons you should be worried around your financial system as we switch into the new quantum financial system. Reserve or Fed cut its target interest rate to zero in response to the economic slowdown caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. This led some to wonder if the Fed was all out of ammo in its attempt to spark economic growth. But when faced with an economic crisis, the Fed has many tools at its disposal to boost economic activity and keep the money flowing. One of those tools is called quantitative easing or QE. QE is a tool used by central banks to provide liquidity and keep money moving through the economy. In the United States, the Fed has typically done this by purchasing securities like longer term treasuries and mortgage backed securities on the open market. The intent is to keep rates lower and help lenders find investors. So how is QE different from the Fed's usual tools? The Fed is charged with managing the U.S. monetary policy, which means changing the money supply in an attempt to manage economic growth and inflation. The Fed typically does this using the federal funds rate, which is a very short-term interest rate that helps determine borrowing costs for banks. 
The Fed sets a lower target for the short-term rates through a process called open market operations. It essentially creates or quote-unquote prints money by buying very short-term treasuries, which pushes the rate lower. Normally, that lower short-term rate can lower interest rates across the board. This makes borrowing for people and businesses cheaper, ideally boosting the economy. But during a financial crisis, economic worries may hamper the trading and lending that lowers the longer-term rates. When this happens, the Fed may engage in QE. It does this by buying other assets like longer-term treasuries, mortgage-backed securities, or commercial debt. Buying these assets can pull the yield lower in targeted areas. The goal is to find places where money isn't flowing and remove the logjam. The Fed used several rounds of QE to help the economy recover from the financial crisis of 2008, buying billions in treasuries and mortgage-backed securities between 2008 and 2014. In response to the COVID-19 crisis in 2020, the Fed again instituted QE. This time, it announced essentially unlimited QE, assuring investors it would continue to help the economy as long as it was needed. The Fed also expanded the program to include buying corporate bonds and bond funds. In addition to QE, the Fed also responded to the coronavirus by reinstating 2008 crisis measures like lending programs for banks large corporations, and foreign central banks. It also loosened some financial regulations introduced after the 2008 financial crisis and introduced new lending programs for small and medium-sized businesses and state and local governments. So the Fed is clearly not out of ammo when it cuts the federal funds rate to zero. However, printing all this money may come at a cost. The US dollar, like any asset, can fall in value if there's an enormous increase in supply. Some economists fear that QE could result in hyperinflation or a fast rise in the costs of goods and services. Since the 2000s, broad inflation has been kept. In okay, so let's jump into this. What is happening, Warriors? You're seeing gas prices going up, lumber prices going up, supply chain management problems. And also what's happening, Warriors, is people are making more money from sitting on their ass at home. Why would they go to work? In California, some people are making $57,000 a year as a combined family without even going to work worse. Think about that. What does that sound like to you? What does that sound like to you? Universal basic income. So why are you making decisions based on Elon Musk? We are moving into a new quantum financial system. Warriors. Why would they be wrecking the system? Why would they be printing into infinity? Why would they keep interest rates low? Why would they create a flexible inflation rate so they can put up your products and goods and services? Housing prices are overvalued right now. It's going up and up and up. Think about this, words. We're in a zombie economy. They keep printing money into infinity. What happens when they stop the faucet? We are going to collapse. And the people sitting in assets, this is what the rich people are doing. They're not hanging out in cash. Cash is trash, as Ray Dalio says. Think about that, words. So let's watch this video really quickly. There's reasons why you should be worried about inflation. Jeffrey Golnich, this is from Yahoo Finance. Finance is Julia LaRoche, speaks to some of the biggest names on Wall Street and in finance, and she's speaking today with bond king Jeffrey Gunlock. So let's go to Julia now live. Julia? Well, thank, thank you so much, Adam. And Jeffrey Gunlock, founder and CEO of Dublin Capital, thank you so much for having us here for your investor days. Um, so I think it's best to start with your overall view of where we are in the markets. What do you make of what's transpired over the last uh, year plus? Well, we've had a relationship between the Fed growing its balance sheet and the value of the S&P 500 that's been in place for years now, ever since they started quantitative easing. And it's almost like a law of physics. It's like if you take the capitalization of the S&P 500 and you divide it by the Fed's balance sheet, it looks a lot like a constant. And so once the Fed started quantitative easing, that reversed the stock market's collapse from the, uh, from the pandemic. And they haven't, they slowed it down a little bit because they were doing it at such a breakneck speed, but now they're continuing to do it. And so the stock market continues to be supported by that. Uh, also, the valuation of the stock market, even though it's really high by historical comparisons, we also have very low bond yields relative to inflation, particularly this week. We have, you know, this, the, the CPI came out at 4.2 year over year, and then the PPI is up at 6.2 or something like this, and bond yield on the 10-year treasury is at 1.65. So the yields are so negative. 
So when you look at the classic relationships, like PE ratios look, look elevated, the Dr. Schiller's cyclically adjusted CAPE ratio is kind of matching those of all time highs. And yet, weirdly, if you look at uh, E divided by P, there's a, a yield on stocks, it's below average in terms of its valuation versus bonds. So the Fed has been manipulating markets for a long time. And uh, on top of that, obviously, we've had incredible amounts of free money, fiscal stimulus. Uh, last month, there was another round of checks. And I don't think a lot of people are aware that about a third of last month's personal disposable income was given by the government. Also, the government is running a deficit that's about 30% of GDP in terms of their spending, and they're only paying for a little, little less than half of it. So uh, there's a lot of distortions that are going on, uh, but with the money that's flowing, it's helped to distort many economic series and also the value of most asset classes. I was going to ask you, um, if we move beyond markets, you're talking about distortions. Uh, where are you seeing those distortions? So he goes into distortions talking about uh, the job market, right? The job market. Most people are making more money sitting at home now, Warriors. So what are the big money doing? They're rushing into cryptocurrency, but they're confusing the crap out of you. They're making the market look very confusing. The elongate, all this stuff going on, Warriors. They're making it look very uncomfortable. But right now, they're working on bringing in regulation. That's why you need to be in fundamental cryptocurrencies. That's why you need to be in the right community. That's why you need to know the game. So we'll watch this one last video. This is important. I'm trying to pull you up into the 30,000 foot overview so you can make informed decisions and not decisions based on somebody's advice at the gym. Apart from a few stocks like Afterpay and Tesla, the best performing investment asset of the past year or so has been Bitcoin, easily. We all thought that flip back in 2017 was a bubble and felt a bit vindicated when it crashed. But as Crocodile Dundee would say, that's not a bubble, this is a bubble. In fact, it's much bigger than any other bubble in the past 50 years. But is it a speculative bubble at all? Or is it just a sign that the world is changing? The surge in Bitcoin's price and legitimacy has come at the same time as a colossal burst of money printing by the world's major central banks. This has produced a rise in the value of all assets, especially American shares, because the money has to go somewhere and it can't all be spent. Now, I don't know what's going to happen to the price of Bitcoin or the other cryptocurrencies, but I do know that we're at the beginnings of a global financial revolution, partly sparked by all the money printing and arguably debasement of the existing monetary system in order to maintain economic growth. So I want you to think about this for just a moment, Warriors. I want to bring you back for just a moment. I want you to really think about this. Where do you think they're taking our economy? Do you think they think they can just print us into infinity and keep this going? with no jobs, right? People are coming back to a new economy, leveraged towards technology. I've been giving you the signs, symbols, and wonders for a year now, Warriors, and 99% of you are not gonna listen. You're gonna listen to somebody stuck in the old paradigm, but you have to have a game plan, Warriors. That's what we preach in our Warrior Academy. We don't do pump and dumps. We have strict exit strategies. We talk about silver. We talk about the market. We talk about the ups, the downs. We talk about moon cycles. We talk about everything, Warriors. We come together as one community to help each other through this quantum financial system. I have a very strict exit strategy as I access the market. I'm getting into silver. I'm going to be going into MPI. I'm going to be going into a Turo strategy to rent cars. I'm going to constantly, like a richest man in Babylon, build residual income coming in. And I share that with my warriors as we grow the academy. So if you want to join our private warrior academy where we support you through this, we're not financial advisors, just a group of people working together. We are just helping each other through this new quantum financial system. And isn't it hard when you're not surrounded by people that don't understand what you're talking about? So down below, you can join our private warrior academy. But what you can do, warriors, is you can't turn a blind eye to this. It's the biggest shift in generational wealth and 99% of you are going to get left behind. It's happened from the first industrial to the second second to third, and now it's going to happen again to third to fourth. The freight train has left the building wars. There's two types of people. People are going to get on board and go for the ride of life, or people are going to get ran over by it. But the fact is, you're going to have to pack your bags and get on board. As we always say, warriors, rise. Follow me on Instagram at CoachJB underscore, TikTok, CoachJB underscore, and CoachJB podcast. Let's go.